hello 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 it is almost the end of april and you know what that means that means it's nearly may so i thought i'd do a setup i don't know why because it's not like we're doing anything is it what with this pandemic but apparently life still goes on you know so yeah anyway what i decided to do was um a theme that's the word i'm looking for i knew i'd get there eventually a theme that i'd been planning to do for the past couple of years and quite frankly i forgot every single year so this year i remembered and it's got to be star wars hasn't it because you know may the fourth be with you and and all that nonsense um i saw this i think it was online last year and i actually screenshotted it it's been sat on my phone waiting so that i could unashamedly rob it and um i can't remember who it was now and i'm too damn tired to look if i remember i will put down below who i stole it off of um i used a uh, Dela and Rowney watercolour tube paint mainly because it's it can be put on so much thicker and blacker than um, pans which is what I normally use I, I normally use watercolour pans but I wanted it to be really really black so um, yeah I, I took a lot of time to do this I think this took me about half an hour um, but look i included a little clock for you aren't i clever <laughs> um yeah it took me freaking ages to figure out how to do this and you know it was actually really 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 easy um but yeah anyway that's beside the point so um yeah this is my um this is my light speed to may and uh, i i can't recall the last time i actually took so much time over a freaking cover page over such a simple cover page as well um but it, it was lovely i you know i put daryl to bed i put an audio book on and and that was it away i went it was good fun i really enjoyed it <laughs> it's not it's not perfect it's still a wee bit patchy but actually the drier it gets the the blacker it looks you know so yeah believe how long this took to do <laughs> my god look at that I'm at 25 minutes and I'm only halfway through the blimmin paint oh wow And then I'd be painting away and I'd look up and I think, well, that bit over there looks really patchy or that doesn't look as black as the rest of it. And I'd go back and put another coat here or there. And it's probably what took me so bloody long. And I'm not actually used to working with tube paints. And these ones are all right, provided you use them when they're fresh. If you let them go dry, they're actually a pain in the ass to get going, you know. But um, they're daily and rowney ones, but... Uh, you know, they serve the purpose, I suppose. I sort of start to get the hang of it by this, you know, and how to get the brush to behave and get the nice lines. I'm actually really, really pleased with how this turned out. Yeah. I always think it looks so cool to watch somebody paint in like high speed because <laughs> it just seems to like flow onto the paper doesn't it well 
Right, well, I've pulled out a finer brush now to do these bits because I know what I'm like. I would have tried with the bigger brush and I would have screwed it up. I already did ever so slightly on the side of the A. Um, the line isn't as clean there, but yeah, if I'd stuck with that bigger brush, I would have fucked it completely. And then I would have been really, really upset with myself. Um, and I would have hated it. <laughs> so yeah, you can see me going, oh look, patchy there, patchy there. Just I'll just add a bit more black there and a, and a bit more black there and a bit more black over here and all of that lot. <laughs> you know how it is. So at this point I go out to basically wash my brushes and empty my water. Look at that, 45 minutes just to do a black cover page. How absurd is that? I was out there for quite a long time actually. Oh, there we go. Here I am. I'm back. Yay! <laughs> and of course it wasn't dry so I was like I can't do anything because it's not dry. So I got my dryer out on it and it actually made the page a little bit textured like the bits that I dry, I dry, is it dried, drewed, dried, <laughs> the bits that I used the dryer on actually dried quite lumpy, um, so I was like, oh, yeah, I was very careful to keep my, um, my homemade writing board underneath that, so that when I worked on this page, the black paint didn't transfer onto the other page that it was in contact with, because I learned that one pretty damn quick. Now this is my square tracker. I like this and I quite often get asked, well, how do you do it? Um, it's very, very easy actually. Um, there are 11 rows, okay? So you, you 11 rows all the way around. So you draw your, um, your bottom line, for example, goes from, you know, the, the middle of the page to the edge of the page. OK, and you will be able to fit eight sections along there. And the way that you do it is that you count up 11 and then your inside square, that blank square in the middle is four by four squares. And then what I do is I put a little dot on the outside of the tracker every three and a quarter squares yeah every three and a quarter squares and then that line will go from one side of the track all the way to the other perfectly straight okay that's what makes it such a neat tracker because it will go from one end all the way through to the other um, and then I just go around and I fill in I do the um, the the diagonal lines and the outside and a heavier pen just to give it a little bit more dimension really oh and the inside bit yeah just to give it a little bit more sort of oomph really i just think it looks cooler um and and that's it it's it really is quite easy um and then i go around the outside i put the the date in and then in the wee gap where i don't fill it up i just number it and then i put a key at the bottom as to what each number is And, that, and that's it. It's 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 actually a lot easier to do it on a single page than it is to do it on a double, like I used to do it. <laughs> so yeah, this is my Instagram tracker. I failed miserably. Actually, I failed miserably with all of my trackers in April due to the pandemic. I like a lot of people, basically just stopped using my journal. Um, I didn't have anything to put in it. All my appointments were cancelled. You know, I, I haven't left the house. <laughs> So there was nothing to put in it and the the oomph to use it basically just stopped and I just stopped using it. But anyway, um, this is going to, I didn't complete it on this setup, but this is the bones of my Instagram tracker. I just need to fill out um, the daily Instagram task sort of thing. This is my tarot card of the day. I think I pulled back four cards in April for the whole of April so far <laughs> I'm actually really quite disappointed in myself as to how badly I've done throughout April but I know I'm not the only one I know an awful lot of people have had the same issue just life's just stopped for a lot of people hasn't it so there you go 
again the inside lines were done with a fine tipped uh, Faber-Castell and then the borders were done with the M tip Faber-Castell and then I used the S tip to write in card of the day and I tried to stick with the um, Star Wars style writing quite pleased how it came out actually sorry about my head getting in the way I do that a lot it's very annoying and then I basically just write in the day of the month each day I've got two lines to write on I was getting very achy by this point but I soldiered on just for you guys this is my little fat woman I think she's she's great <laughs> I found this image on Google and I have over the sort of last few months that I've been using it she's been modified so that she you know she's got dreads and I should have piercings as well really shouldn't I and then she'd look even more like me <laughs> but yeah I just think she's she just makes me laugh I don't know why I put bunny slippers on her because it was she's got bunny slippers on on the picture I found on the internet I've never ever owned bunny slippers in my entire life especially not ones the lurid pink color I end up making these do <laughs> But there you go. I, it's very, very hard because I don't want to watercolour her in, with wearing black clothes, which is, you know, what I tend to wear. Because then you won't see, you know, like, if she's got black leggings on, you won't see the way that her knees point in and it would just look like a black splodge. Um, so I have to come up with other colours and I'm always stumped as to what colours to use. This is an acrylic paint and it's the only one I've got that's a flesh tone and it looks all right on the camera but in real well I don't know it might not do in full screen but in reality it looks fucking horrible it's again this is Dale and Randy acrylic paint and it, it is shit really 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 shit I need to figure out how to make skin color with watercolors because yeah I'm really not pleased with that but there we go So now I've got my watercolour palette out and I'm just giving her a little bit of colour because, you know, it's be boring otherwise. <laughs> look at them pink slippers. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, look, there. oh, have a stretch, yeah. Oh, my neck ached. I was stretching whilst I was thinking, well, what bloody colour can I do, you know? And then I remembered a long, long time ago, I had a pair of chocolate brown coloured leggings. They were lovely. And then, of course, that bit came out darker, so I was trying to lighten it up, and I'd put too much water down, and I was just like, oh, for heaven's sake. It's always a way, isn't it? Love stretch. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Clean up a bit. Right. Next is my mood. Oh, excuse me. It's nearly midnight. I'm, no, it's gone midnight. I'm exhausted. 
Um, my mood and my pain trackers, these are very, very simple. They are just a line graph. I used to do fancy trackers for these. Um, I occasionally do, but I find it easier to look at if I've just got a graph, you know? Um, so yeah, I just, that's the way that I do that. <laughs> Not only that, but you know, when I'm doing something like this and it takes three fucking hours to do, last thing I want to do is to do a nice big fancy bloody mood tracker as well. So, yeah. Right, give her a quick dry. Then I realised I hadn't done her eyes. I was like, for God's sake. Then I'm off camera and I write that. Shame because it looked really good too. <laughs> there you go, mood and pain. Now we're on to my sleep and steps trackers. Again, these are quite basic. Um, the sleep one is split into two sort of uh, two parts really. On one side, you've got on the right-hand side of the sleep tracker, you've got my sleep as my Fitbit records it. So if my Fitbit records that I go to sleep at one o'clock and I get I wake up at eight o'clock, that's what I put down. But on the left hand side, I put a bar graph and I put down how good I think I slept. So if, if I only slept like three hours, but I woke up, I wake up and I think, God, yeah, I feel fucking great. Then I will put that I had a good sleep. If I slept nine hours and I feel like crap, I will put nine hours, but I had a crap sleep. And it's worked really, really well for me because I can sort of see, you know, how my sleep goes over over the course of a month and the steps is just a simple bar graph <laughs> i turned over the page and i was like oh shit this is my chores tracker <laughs> it's um i'm off camera for a lot of this by the look of things Oh well, it's because I've got my camera so low so you guys can see it so well and then I go and I'm off fucking camera. My chores tracker, I invented this several months back. Um, I needed a tracker where I wouldn't have a whole list. Of... I wanted it so that I could put specific chores on specific days. But I didn't want to have to copy it out each week or, you know, into my weekly sort of setup. And all, and I thought, oh, yeah, how can I do this? How can I do this? So I sat down and I wrote out all of the chores, you know, everything from changing the beds to cleaning the toilet to running the vacuum round, you know, all, all that kind of thing. And then I separated it into how often do I want to do these chores? Sub chores, for example, cleaning the toilet. Oh, okay, excuse me. Um, I do every single day. Other chores like vacuuming upstairs, I do once a week. Sometimes not even once a week because we only really use upstairs when we go to sleep. So I then worked out, right, these are, these are my everyday chores. So they get written in every day. And then these are my once a week or twice a week type chores. And I basically divided them up over the course of the week. I then write down the dates and I'd fucked it up for me. I was sitting there looking and going, that's, that's not right. And I'd fucked it up. Which I was so cross about. So the 31st should have been on the Monday and I put it on the th Friday. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened here. But yeah, I screwed it up and... <laughs> It's never a good setup unless you fuck up one of them, is it? Uh, but anyway, yeah. And then I just, I write, this is the time consuming bit, is writing down all of the chores. So like every Monday, I do the loo the laundry, I clean the office, I clean the TV, dishwasher, worktop, sweep, mop. Now, loo laundry, office, dishwasher, worktop, sweep and mop are every day. Uh, not mop, sorry, just worktop and sweep. Are, are in there every day because they should be done every day. Whether I do them every day is a completely different story. But that was the general idea that I would do them every day. 
Um, so yeah, the the ones on the left that you see me filling in there, those are once a month type tasks. Again, whether they get done, like the windows, I haven't done the windows in months. And then every time I get the oomph up and think I'll do that tomorrow, it rains. <laughs> so yeah. Then I decided that some of them, because I hadn't written, written titles on all of my because I know what they are and I'm like well you know it's like people who write the year on their monthly calendars I'm like why'd you do that you know what fucking year it is because it's in the book that says 2020 but anyway that's beside the point so um, yeah I thought I'd just add in a bit of galactic washi and make it look good oh there we go No, bloody washy stuck all over me. Somebody once asked me why don't you use a corner rounder to do the washy? It would look neater. Yes, it probably would, except for the fact that the corner rounder won't cut washy because washy's just too flimsy for some reason. I've tried several times and it just doesn't doesn't want to know and then I thought well, hang on because the Star Wars writing is in yellow um, and I didn't want to use yellow yellow because I'm not a yellow yellow fan but I do quite like this sort of gold um, this is Tombow 026 so I got that out and I just coloured in the ones that I did do a title on I'm so sorry I'm out of shot, I just didn't realise. And I also apologise if, if you can hear my dog snoring in the background. give you a little bit of a flip through here um i really hope you've enjoyed it if you did please 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 do give me a thumbs up hey leave us some comments down below because you know what daryl says we do love the comments we really really do um you know did you like it what did you like about it did you hate it what did you hate about it did i ramble too much yeah all of that leave it all down below thumbs up click the book and you'll be subscribed and if you hit the bell you then get to choose whether you get notifications or not um it'd be really cool if you did take it easy guys bye bye